This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the LD Micro Invitational 2019 in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Desmond Wheatley from Envision Solar, publicly traded company. The symbol is EVSI. Desmond, welcome back to SNN Live. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me again. It's great to have you back. It's been a while, but uh, you know we'll get into that update very shortly. But first, let's get an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. We have had a very busy couple of years, Bobby, so we'll have plenty to talk about. But uh, yeah, Envision Solar is a San Diego-based sustainable technology innovation company, which is a bit of a mouthful. But what that means is we invent, design, engineer, patent, and actually manufacture solar-powered products for three market verticals, electrification of transportation, outdoor media, and energy security, by which we just mean a more reliable source of electricity than you get from the utility, which of course is prone to blackouts and brownouts. Right. So now before we get into that update again, you know, a lot of our audience and I think a lot of the world has all heard about solar energy and different types of solar companies and whatnot. So what about Envision Solar is different and unique in the marketplace? That's a really good question, actually, because we are very different from the typical solar uh, power company out there. We're not competing with the utility. We're not out there trying to sell cheap kilowatt hours. Rather, we're involved in what we refer to as Solar 3.0. Solar 3.0 is using solar power to enable amenities and services in environments where it's either too expensive, too disruptive, or just impossible to get the electric grid. So it's about using solar as the power to offer things uh, to people that they need in places where you can't get the grid. Got it. All right, so now let's get into that update. Last time you were on here was November 2016. So in three hours or less, <laughs> let's get everything we want to know about what's been going on at EVSI. It's going to take all of those three hours. We, be, <laughs> we have been very busy since we last saw you. Um, I mean, uh, earlier on this year, we moved up to NASDAQ. We're delighted about that. We did a public offering. Uh, we were able to raise a significant amount of uh, capital. That's fantastic because now the company's debt-free. Uh, so from a balance sheet point of view, we're in really good shape. We're well capitalized for growth, and that's good news because uh, if you just just look at 2017 to 2018 year over year growth, 336% year over year revenue growth. So we're on a major growth cycle right now. We need capital to fund that. And so the public offering has been very helpful to us. At the same time, uh, we've gone out and won fantastic contracts. We have a multi-million dollar multi-year contract with the city of New York, multi-million dollar multi-year contract with the state of California, and many others. I mean, when I met you, I think we were probably in two or three municipalities. We're now in 88, I think, that updates every day. We're in 18 states three international nations down in the Caribbean where our product survived hurricane force gales last year. So it's been a very busy time. And as also a reminder for our audience that may not have seen the, the November 2016 interview, and also I'm sure it's changed since then as well. You know, what's the size of the target market? Well, it's uh, we're, we're talking about trillions, uh, not billions. So if you look at Bloomberg's forecast for the electric vehicle charging infrastructure market, we're talking about $3 trillion of expenditures over the next couple of years. Just looking at the OEMs, the car manufacturing companies, they've committed to over $300 billion in investment in electrifying their fleets today. All of that's going to mean a lot of electric vehicles on the road in the next couple of decades. And we are going to, the world, so it's not just a US opportunity, this is a global opportunity, which is why we're international. The world is going to need millions of electric vehicle charging stations. We have the fastest deployed, most scalable, lowest total cost of ownership solution out there today. And so the, the size of the opportunity is just off the charts, frankly. So what's your background? You know, how, how did you come into all this? I can't remember. <laughs> no, I've been doing this now. I've been at Envision Solar for almost a decade, and I'm, I've got to tell you, I'm happier here than I've been anywhere else. Um, I have a very varied background. I have an engineering background. I was in telecommunications. I was in security infrastructure, close protection. I've, I haven't worked all over the whole world, but I've worked over about half of it at the moment. I'm delighted to be back in San Diego. Very proud of the team that we have down there. We've got a team of combat veterans, disabled workers, minorities, and others, uh, just fine contributors uh, building these magnificent products. And now we're selling them uh, not, not all over the world yet, but that's the target and that's where we're going. So again, though, from what you can tell us, what are some of the company's growth drivers now moving forward? Well, we're certainly going to continue to execute on the electrification of transportation. As I said, the world's going to need mil millions of EV chargers, and we have the fastest deployed, most scalable solution out there. We also have a couple of products uh, which are patent pending at the moment. Uh, the products that we sell and that are in the market are patented. We have great intellectual property coverage there, not just in the US, but also in Europe and in China. China's the fastest growing EV market in the world, so we can't ignore that. Um, got a couple of products patent pending that I'm very excited about now. One of them's uh, addressing the, the burgeoning drone market or unmanned air 
aerial vehicle market. We have a refueling solution for those, which will allow drones to travel further because, of course, range is still their, their, their um, limiting factor. But uh, it's really about continuing to execute in the markets that we're already in. We've, we've, we've demonstrated that we can produce patented products which have mass market appeal. We've demonstrated that we can produce them in, in higher volumes. Now it's scaling up, really. It's about selling. The public offering has given us the capital to uh, invest more in sales and marketing, which, as you know, when we first met, we hadn't really done any sales and marketing. We won all of these projects just on the strength of the product. Now it's about getting the story out there, getting the, turning those 88 municipalities into 880. For goodness sakes, there are 19,000 municipalities in the United States of America. We're in 88 of them today. We're going to be busy for a while. And where can our audience go and find more information about Envision Solar? Go to our website. That's probably the best place, www.envisionsolar.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're at the LD Micro Invitational 2019 in Bel Air, California. With me again has been Desmond Wheatley from Envision Solar, publicly traded company. The symbol is EVSI. Desmond, always a pleasure. Thanks, Robbie, and thanks, everybody, for watching.